quit moving around so much, Bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah, I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. Hello and welcome to part one of Sam and Max Save the Universe. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game last, but I, I, I quite remember this first part of the game. Where we need to pick up the, the boxing this glove here. in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. And we also need the bowling bowling ball. Yeah, Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Yeah, the bowling ball. Bowling, bowling ball. Oh, right. And the cheese was in here. Aha! Oh, there it is. So yeah, I'm your friendly host, Serion. Today we are force playing Sam and Max Save the Universe. That was the first rendition of the Telltale game of the first. Oh my God! We'll just try this again. This is the first Telltale game of Sam and Max saving the world. It's based on the comics, of course, like all cool Telltale games are. Like, of course, this Sam and Max saving the world. Two and three also, which we also are going to play at some point. And of course the Walking Dead, like many of you maybe know. But this was 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 released in 2006, so it's quite old. And I had to go uh, force the screen resolution up to uh, 1080. So first, let's make some Swiss cheese by shooting it. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. And let's take the, a cheese and Voila. put it by Swiss the mouse cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! I have actually already recorded a part two, but I was being stupid and unobserving. And I accidentally deleted this first part. So yeah, after this, uh, all sh all things should be okay and it should be not be rushed or anything because I pretty much don't know what happens after Greetings. the part two. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. Um, yeah, so if um, if in part two you think that the the voice, not the voice of course, but my way of talking in the start is quite weird, that's because uh, in the first part one I had pretty, very, uh, sorry I, I can't talk tonight, I'm so irritated at myself right now, but in part two in the start I start out by talking about how much trouble I had finding out how to deal with something in the in the game, but uh, that's not now, so I don't want to 
give any further detail on that, but I can tell you this much at... Uh, help me help, help you. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. Oh, oh, that's what's wrong. Let's make a deal. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Oh, yeah, I tell you. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. A headache, that's... You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Yeah, but I'm really sorry about me being so distracted. It's just so annoying when you do that and you make half an hour of recording and then it's just all lost. I've even tried different recovery tools and such, but without luck. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try to focus now. So, yeah, we need Sam. Sorry, Max, to Don't hang like him out, Brian. Right. How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ass guy. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey. Like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! <laughs> ah, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Oops! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Then out we go! Down to Bosco's and convenience store. Whee! I really, really love the... This game. Uh, it's just so funny. Like here, uh, that Bosco, he's so Illuminati. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the and peace. And I love the one-liners. Violently impossible, you called? It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist. A munchkin terrorist. He'll be the death of us all. Yeah, Where about is this what? Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Yowzers, that is one ugly ki Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Whizzer! He's a former child star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away to jail! Uh, yeah, I think we got it. I think it. we got it. Okay, anything else? Nope. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! So, this is pretty much... ...what happens in part one. The original just cramped down to 10 minutes instead of 20. So, um, I'm, again, I'm really, really sorry for what happened, um, and I hope you can forgive me, but, yeah, this was the first part, uh, yeah, I'm a bit rusty in recording, and, um, yeah, part 2 should be much, much better, and part 3 and so on should be the best ever. So, see you next time in part two!